So what have you got there? Right here is a frame of brood, which the queen has been in recently. She's laid eggs in this area here. These eggs have hatched to larva. So those are four days old. They've hatched larva and then progressively getting older and older. The bigger the larva, the older the, the brood. And then eventually right here you have sealed brood. So uh, this can be anywhere in the range of uh, yeah, somewhere in the 18 days to, to hatch time, 24. So these, these will be the, 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 the baby bees will be emerging out of these sealed brood sections soon in the next couple of days then it'll hatch out and then the queen will come back and it's an empty cell and she'll lay an egg back into there and the cycle continues and where does the honey collect the honey is usually you have your brood in the middle the queen comes up she'll lay the center frames and work out work up and out and then the honey is usually stored on the outside frames and then in honey production you have your two brood boxes and then on top of that you stack your honey boxes and the bees store their honey up above so I'll pull a few more frames out maybe. That frame I pulled out had eggs, so the queen is either close by or have smoked it. So sometimes you smoke the hive, the queen starts to run. It's a little diff more difficult to find the queen. But usually when you're, <laughs> you're trying to find a queen to show people, you can't find her. Oh, there she is. She's got a little white dot, so that's last year's queen right there. See how much bigger she is? She's got a extended, oversized abdomen, almost twice the size of a worker bee. So here all these are worker bees. I'll try and find a drone. There's a queen cell cup right there, which is empty, but that is the potential for a queen cell. So when they're swarming, that's what they'd make a new queen out of. 